is the influence of retail investors on stocks shrinking. The work from home movement inspired a boom in retail trading and day traders helped push equity markets to new heights. But today, some signs in the market suggest retail investors are losing steam. There's been a very dramatic reversal in the buying of retail turning into the selling of retail in the last five months. This shows you that a lot of the retail froth that was potentially in the market has come out. I'm Allison Nathan, and this is Exchanges at Goldman Sachs. So when he says on the nature of liquidity in U.S. equities, to give you a sense, right, as John was saying, pre-COVID, pre-zero comms, we all typically thought of retail as being roughly 10% of U.S. equity volumes. And we typically have 35% of U.S. equity volumes happen off exchange. With zero comms, we saw retail participation go up a couple of points, 12 to 15%. And then during COVID, really, you know, as we were all talking about during COVID, is really when things started to drastically change. In the summer of 2020, for us, from a liquidity standpoint, is when we had some of the more important numbers. At that point, retail participation got roughly to 20%, and off exchange volumes hit 45%. And then in December of that year and in January of 2021, we actually got to the point where over 50%, on a number of days, over 50% of US equity volume actually happened off exchange. We have retail, you know, in the 20 to 25% range. Other market participants went as high as citing 30% retail participation on the tape at that point. And so if you have this huge volume of trading represented by the retail traders moving off exchange, what are the liquidity implications of that? Yeah, high level, because these trades happen on a bilateral basis, they are non-participable from other market participants. And so this concept of non-participable volumes is something that we spent a lot of 2020 and 2021 talking to our clients about. A very common way that institutions, hedge funds, professional investors, executives, is to execute in line with market volumes. So again, someone, a PM might be looking to buy a spot and the way that they might want to get into that position is through an instruction that might say something like, you know, buy X shares of this stock at a participation rate that is 10% of that stock's volume. Now, if a large part of that stock's volume is non-participable, it becomes significantly harder for us to source liquidity. And the only way for us to source liquidity and for us to follow that instruction is through the creation of more market impact. And so what happened during this time period where there was a lot of volume that was shifting towards off exchange and was not participable is that we had that in addition to the elevated volatility, it just was a very, very challenging environment for trading. Trading costs, you know, skyrocketed across the broad spectrum of all stocks that our clients were trading. So Greg, maybe you can give us